Now what I've been doing back here by the bumper, since we decided not to just trim it out, we decided to go ahead and wrap the camel around. What I've done is just start from the bottom so that the pieces overlap each other, just like the shingles we were talking about earlier. And I'm cutting about one inch wide strips. And then what I'm going to do is I just take those strips and push them inside that bumper all the way inside. And once it gets so far that I can't see it or hardly reach back there any farther with my fingers, I'm going ahead and I'm cutting that piece of vinyl. And then I'll reach in there with my fingers and I'll push it down tight. Now this is way up underneath that bumper where you can't see it anymore. Now down here at the bottom you can still see it, so I let that piece run all the way around underneath. But what we're doing, we're just going to work our way up the side of the truck here with these, with these relief cut pieces. Just like we did behind the, the cab where the cab met the uh, bed of the truck. We're cutting these one inch strips out. And then we're laying these strips up right underneath the bumper. Now we're getting up to the point where some of this is going to be seen again. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go ahead and run it all the way across the back. And you can see it just above the bumper here. And then once you get over here, then I can come in from the top side and do it. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take another piece. Now that the truck is getting a little bit flatter, I can probably allow myself to have a little bit wider piece. I'm going to probably cut myself somewhere in that, up in here where these wrinkles are. So I'll actually take this piece here and lay it, cut it from right there all the way across. We'll fold this piece back and we'll go ahead and lay this piece all the way across. Take your squeegee, this piece out of the way so you can see. Take your squeegee and just work your way all the way across that bumper. Now the other option, especially with a dark colored truck like, like this one, is you could take this camel clad and you could just trim a nice clean line right along here. And, and even with a lighter colored truck, and then you could save yourself all the time and hassle of trying to get in behind that bumper just by creating a nice smooth line. But we're going to show you how to do it completely camoed. So we're just going to lay this piece in here all the way across back here to where your tailgate is smooth it all out and then we'll come in with this piece of course with our with our curve here we're going to have to create another cut maybe what I, what I usually li like to do is just kind of see how it goes and as I start working with the material if I can get those wrinkles out like I just did there and come on across that around that corner by pushing those wrinkles top and bottom I can create I can create a space where it doesn't wrinkle just like that I was able to get rid of all those wrinkles so we didn't have to make another cut and I'll come all the way across here just like I did the piece before all the way up to the bottom of the tail light and now all we have to do is trim that out and we've got a nice completely camouflaged bumper back there or the back of the right in front of the bumper and it's just a matter of trimming it out now and it looks really nice So basically we've got this piece set all the way across the top here. And the only other thing we need to do is, is cut this out. This wheel well here, it flows all the way around. I'm going to take this pair of scissors and I'm basically going to feel on this vinyl where we're at with that wheel well. You can also see it down here. And I'm going to just rough cut that out. A couple inches from the edge. I don't want to cut it too short. But I can take it and cut it a couple inches from the edge. Check it periodically. You can feel the edge of the, of the fender flare right here with my hand. And I can stay off that edge just a couple inches with this pair of scissors. I can cut all the way around this piece. So there's your, there you're in. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do that, uh, that wave cut on the edge of this piece. And that way we don't have to worry about uh, the seam showing. It's just a little trick. You don't have to do it. But it definitely hides the, uh, the seam of the camo clad. Because what you're doing is you're getting rid of those straight lines. 
And once you get rid of those straight lines, it's almost impossible to see that uh, that seam on that camel clad. So we'll get that cut. And then it's just a matter of putting it in place now. You can see how that seam just disappears right there as that piece goes on.